I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to create composite function when some points are given to us. Now we are given two functions f of x is set of points and g of x is set of another set of points. We need to determine composite functions and explain our answer. So the first one is f of g of x, the other one is g of f of x, right? So we do expect different answers for both these functions. As you know, composite functions are not commutative, right? So you could expect different answers. Now let us try to find what is f of g of x. Now the criteria is that we have to start from the inside function, right? So g of x has this minus 1. So first thing is, let us see how to find g of x and then I'll write down all the points. So let us, then we'll find, let me show you how to find this. So first we'll find what is g of minus 1. So g of minus 1 is minus 4, correct? Once we get minus 4 here, then we say what is f of minus 4 equals to. Then we look into this value and we say, well, f of minus 4 is minus 1 minus 1 and therefore we get the coordinate point that for minus 1 input the output is minus 1 you get the idea so that is how we are going to calculate each and every value but in this solution I'm not going to do this operation again and again let me tell you once again okay then we'll try to find g of minus 2 so we say I mean 0 in this case g of 0 is equals to minus 3 then we'll say what is f of minus 3 equals to f of minus 3 is 0 fine so we get the second point which is 0 0 you get the point for the input of 0 here the output is 0 so that is the second point correct so likewise we can calculate all the points right so now we will find what is g of 2 g of 2 is minus 1 what is f of minus 1 f of minus 1 is 2 so we get the third point which is 2 2 right let's follow this process g of 3 is 1 so input is 3 for us g of 3 is 1 output should be f of 1 f of 1 is 3 we get 3 as our answer and then 4 is the input for 4 input g of 4 is minus 2 what is f of minus 2 f of minus 2 is also 4 so we get the point 4 and that completes the set okay so this is f of g right so this is you could also write this as f of g so that is one now let us calculate what is g of f right so g of f will follow exactly the same process first step will be for us how to find f of the first number minus one in this case right so we'll say f of minus one is two so we get f of minus 1 as 2 then what is g of 2 g of 2 will be minus 1 minus 1 so for the input of minus 1 let me write here for the input of minus 1 output is minus 1 do you get the idea likewise we'll continue right so let's do for the next number the input is minus 2 output f of minus 2 is 4 g of 4 is minus 2 okay then for minus 3, f of minus 3 is 0, g of 0 is minus 3. f of minus 4 is minus 1, g of minus 1 is minus 4. Interesting, right? 1 is the input, f of 1 is 3, and g of 3 is 1. So that is what we get as an output. Well, it's interesting to see that in all the points we notice one particular thing that the output is kind of equals to xx right both the points are kind of same you see aa i could say correct but still the two functions are different right since we are working on limited set of points so what do you conclude from here well if you observe clearly then what we find here is that f of x is equals to g inverse of x and uh, f inverse of x is equals to g of x that is why we got such a result i hope you appreciate it right so if we would have had a continuous function in that case the result would have been equal to x right 
So for every x input, f of y equals to x, I mean, y equals to x, straight line, correct? Now, but now what we have are points on the straight line y equals to x. That is what we have got, right? So that is how we could see it. So sometimes when you have a composite function formed by the function and its inverse, then you get points on the line y equals to x. That is the conclusion. I hope you appreciate this important conclusion. You can now move on to the other application questions. Thank you and all the best.